Hello, welcome back to this amazing channel. This is Abhinav. Today, in this particular video, we will discuss about the contest code forces round 928, which is a division 4 contest. Uh, and yeah, I participated in this contest just for you guys uh, to you know make videos. And I was able to solve five problems. Uh, I was trying the problem number G, but because uh, the, uh, the contest is close to end and I have to upload videos, so I'm first recording this video. After that, if I will be able to solve this problem Z, I will definitely uh, shoot the video for that. And will upload it my, on my channel. Okay, so let's first discuss from problem A to problem E. So let's first discuss problem number A, which is a very basic problem. Okay, so quickly let's discuss this. Problem is simple that there is a string which is consist of A and B. You have to simply say that uh, which is present more time A or B. So it's a, like a very easy problem. What I did is I simply uh, first take an input of S. Now I'm iterating through S for every A. I'm increasing A else B. Now, if A is greater than B, that means A is present more times, I will print A, else I will print B. Nothing more than that, okay? Cool. Problem number B. So, problem number B says that there is a triangle, okay? Or the basically there is a matrix, and in that matrix, there is a either triangle present or either square present, okay? For example, uh, this is a matrix, okay? Now, in this matrix, what will happen is, ki, let's say like this. Maybe the case is that there is a triangle present like this. This is a triangle, right? Means uh, basically, uh, in the first will be one, then there are there will be three, then there will be five. So basically, there will be two into i minus one uh, ones in each row. Okay, that is what happens in a triangle, uh, and it can be either this or either it can be a reverse triangle also, just like this. It's a reverse, opposite, right? Flip triangle. So either there is a triangle present or either there is a square present. For example, if I will do it like this, it becomes a square. So you have to basically find that whether the given is, uh, the given shape is a triangle is a square. So what you can simply do is see if there is a triangle, then you can see in a triangle in every row. This is let's say this is row number one, this is row number two, row number three. So in triangle in every row, the number of elements should be different. They cannot be same. First one, then three, then five. Number of ones are different, right? But in case of a square, in each row, number of ones are same. If, if the square size is three, then in every row, it will be three ones. And that is what I will do. So what I will do is basically here, in the summation, you can see that I am first of all taking the summation of the this matrix, right? I am storing it in an array. Cool. Now what I am doing is, now what I am doing is, I have the previous as zero. Previous means number of ones in the previous row. So initially, I, we are assuming that in the previous row there are no ones, right? Now, now I am uh, finding or I am getting the sum or basically the number of ones in the current row. Okay. So current basically tells us the number of ones in the current row. For example, in this row there are three ones. Okay. Now what we will see, we will see if previous is not equal to zero means. If the number of ones in the previous row is not zero, for example, for this row, the previous is zero, but for this row, previous is not zero. So we'll see if we are at a row, let's say we are at a current row and we have some number of ones there and the previous row also, there were some number of ones. So now the basic thing is if the number of ones in the previous row are equal to the current row, that means it's a square. Else, if they are not equal, that means it's a triangle. <laughs> Simple. Okay, that is what I did in this, in this particular question. If you have still, if you have any doubt, you can simply join our Telegram channel. Okay, you can join my Telegram. You can ask your doubt there, or you can also comment it down. Right. Cool. Let's move towards the next problem. Then the problem number third. Third problem is that there is a Vlad and a sum of digits. See, guys, in this problem, what uh, he says is that there is a uh, uh, there is a person. This Vlad, this Lev. Okay. And uh, he has written numbers from 1 to n. Okay, for example, let's say if n is 7, so numbers will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's say if n is 13, number will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, like this. Now, you, what you have to do is, what he did is, he replaced each number with the sum of digits. So, he replaced each number with the sum of its digit. For example, if there is a one digit number, it will remain same. But for two digit number, basically multiple digit numbers, it will be replaced by the sum of digits. So one zero will become one, 
वन वन विल बिकम टू वन प्लस वन टू वन प्लस टू थ्री ओके एंड वन प्लस थ्री फोर तो ईच नंबर इज रिप्लेस विद द सम ऑफ डिजिट एंड अदर रिमेन सेम सिंगल डिजिट नंबर रिमेन सेम एंड नाउ यू हैव टू फाइंड द सम ऑफ दीज नंबर राइट सो फॉर डिफरेंट वैल्यू ऑफ एंड यू हैव डू दैट सी गाइज द फॉर्मुला इज वेरी क्लियर there is no other logic the logic will be simple that for each number you will find its number of digits sum of digits and you will find the sum so hum kya karenge what i will do i will write here a function i will write a function let's say int sum of digit so let's this is a function sod sod means this is a function sum of digit so if function kya karega this function will return simple sum of digit you can write the logic and then for all the numbers from 1 to n what you will do you will find this function you will call this function and you will add it in a sum simple this will be your answer but this will give you tle why because for every test case you are running this it is not required see guys what i will do they will they are giving me a n and there is a some upper bound of n that n can only go up to 2 into 10 to the power 5 so what i have done is first i have calculated the same sum for all the ends so i have taken a vector the size of this vector is 2 to the power 2 into 10 to the power 5 plus 5 also just for a safer case so the, the size of this vector is same as the range of n given to us i have taken the vector of that size now in the main function what i am doing before calling test cases before calling the test cases what i am doing is see for zero it will be zero for example if i am saying there are zero numbers then for zero numbers its sum will be zero simple now for number uh, from the number 1 till the size of this vector what we will do is for example what what i did see let's say this is a vector index number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Let's say ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and so on. It will be up to two into ten to the power five. Okay. For vector zero, I mentioned zero. Okay. Now see, vector one will be vector zero plus S O D of one. So vector i is vector i minus one plus S O D of i. So vector one will be what will be S O D of one? S O D means sum of digits. So sum of digits of one will be one. So one plus zero will be one. Now sum of digits for two will be two. So two and b i minus one plus one three now three plus three six six plus four ten ten plus five fifteen so as we are going on we are finding sum of digit for that number and also because we have to find sum of digit for all the numbers from one to n we are also taking the prefix sum and this will continue for all the numbers so for all the numbers from one till the range of n. Which is two into ten power five will find the value, and now in the test case, simply take the value n and output. For example, if n is three, answer will be six. If n is six, answer is twenty one. If n is five, answer is fifteen, and so on. We have the whole vector, right? And this is known as the pre-compute method. Before calling the test cases, before calling the test cases, each test case, I am pre-computing the values. and then for each test case i am using that values for the output okay so that is how what we do in this particular problem if you have any doubt you can uh, you can ask me you can ask that to me in the comment section or in the telegram okay cool now let's talk about the problem number 4 which was a good problem which is vlad and division so i actually did it in a very you know so i am not sure but i think it's a complex way of solving this particular problem but yeah uh, this is what i was able to do uh, like uh, find that time Actually, the this same problem can be done using the flip uh, operator of uh, you know what we say bitwise operator. But I was not able to do it. It was giving it was giving wrong answer. So I implemented it in a a dog manner. Let's discuss first. The problem says that simply that you have some numbers given to you. Okay, so you have some n numbers given to you. Okay, let's say three, eight, one, two, five, seven, two. Okay. and you have to group these numbers now they are saying is you have to group these numbers such that no two numbers in a group have same bits same bits means for example 5 has bits 101 and see not 101 not just 
you have to also check all the 31 bits so 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. this will be up to 32 31 bits 7 will be 1 1 1 and then 0 up to 31 bits here you can see there are two bits not even two bits there are multiple bits so yahan bhi 0 yahan bhi 0 yahan bhi 0 yahan bhi 0 so match kar raha hai so you cannot place them in a same group for the numbers which have same bits you have to make them in a separate group so basically for the numbers jin mein all the bits are different for example there is a number whose bits are like this there is a number whose bits is like this and there is a number whose bits are like this means just reverse of the number we can only pair these numbers together we cannot pair any other number together and in a pair there can only be two numbers there cannot be more than two numbers because ek number ka flip yehi ho sakta hai iske alawa kuch bhi nahi ho sakta agar aap koi bhi aur number loge wo ya to isse match kar jayegi uski bit ya isse match kar jayegi there can be only one flip of a number so basically if there is a number and its flip is also present then you can group them as a single group that's it in so what i did is see what i did is let's talk uh, right into the solution i am first taking the number n and then i am taking the input of the vector okay now what i am doing is here is a function number to bit this is basically converting your number into the bitwise manner right for example the bit of uh, uh, what 7 will be 111 one, one. 5 will be 101, 4 will be 100. So it is converting a number to its bit bit form, right? And also because as we want all 31 bits, so if the current bit of a number is less than 0, or less than 31, for example, if 7 may have 3 bit, 5 may have 3 bit, hoti hai, so apart from that, we will add some extra zeros at the back. We are adding some extra zeros, right? So that is what I am doing. Basically, it's the reverse manner of the bits that is stored. Now, what I am doing is that. For each number in the array, I am first uh, getting its bits, okay, it's uh, uh, like its bitwise number and then I am increasing the value of map by that bit, means this bit is present one time. Now I am again iterating to the uh, all the numbers, I am first of all checking a bit, okay, so I am having, a, I have a number of flip bits and I have, an, I have a string bits. So this bit string will contain the simple bits of the number and this flip bit string will contain the flipped bits for example if for a number let's say for a number 5 bits are 0 0 0 0 up to 101 so its flipped bit will be 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 so in this flip bit i am storing the flip of that number now finally finally if mp of flip bit is more than one means for example if we have a number this if we have a number this which is bits and this is flip bits if this flip bits is present for example if this flip bit is present in our map that means we can pair them together so, abhi ye dono do different group mein hai. currently they are in two different groups but because they are you know opposite of each other all the bits are opposite of each other we can pair them in a same group so if what we will do if flip bits is present more than zero times what we can do we can pair flip bits and the current number in a sing same group so initially we have taken our group as n okay, there are n groups and once we got it we will first of all decrease the map value of both flip bits and bits because we have considered them as no, I know to consider kar le. and we will also decrease our answer by one because abhi ki dono alag -alag group the, but we have paired them in a single group so a size come ho jayega group ka. and then we have given the answer to so, try to understand this code the the code is a little bit complex the logic is a little bit complex but if you understand it it will be a great thing right amazing now the last problem uh, for this video which is Vlad and an odd ordering this is what also a good problem here they are saying that first uh, Vladimir will put all the odd number cards so he basically he has cards from 1 to n first he will put all the odd number cards then he will put all the cards which are twice of the odd number then thrice then four times then five times okay see what I will do is what we will do is for example that uh, then basically the problem is that you have to tell the kth card that he has laid down so you are given with the n you are given with the k 
you have to tell the kth card okay so what we will basically do is let's say that n is equal to 20 so if n is equal to 20 so let's understand how he will flip the cards how he will basically uh, what we are lay the cards or put the cards so first all the odd numbers let's put it so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 kya kar raho, bhai? sorry 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 1 3 5 7 9 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. So first, all the odd numbers are there that we have kept. And if you will find, there are n plus 1 by 2 odd numbers. So we have first taken all the odd numbers here. Okay. Now, these are all the odd numbers. Means they have a gap of 2. Gap 2 means 1, then plus 2, 3, then plus 2, 5, and so on. Why I am showing you that? Because we will have a pattern later on. Now next they are saying, next you will get, next what you will get is, you will get twice of all the odd numbers. So first you will get twice of 1 which is 2, then twice of 3 which is 6, 5 which is 10, 7 which is 14, 9 which is uh, 18, that's all. We cannot twice of 11 because it's 22. But we have just numbers up to 20. Okay. So we cannot go to the twice of that. Cool. Great. Amazing. Now. Now the very best part. The very great part is that. Is that. The, how many numbers are there? So first of all they have a gap of 4. You can see these numbers have a gap of 4. So plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 first thing and if you will see if you will see these numbers are starting from 2 ending at 18 right so if you have to find basically how many numbers are there here we know that there are n plus 1 by 2 odd numbers when you have to find number uh, these numbers what you will do total there are n numbers total there are n numbers okay if i will ask you that from 1 to n how many multiple of fours are there? How you will find? You will say that do something like this. What? N plus 3 by 4. This is the formula. Just like we have done here. We have said 2 ki kitne multiples of 2. Now, dekho, if you will find the formula that comes is that if you have n to n, if you have to say n to 4 ki kitne multiple hai, so value will be n plus 3 by 4. You can check it. But here, starting is not from 1 starting is from 2 so we will subtract 2 and add 1 because itne number ja chuke hain piche se so overall the definition that will come here will be the formula that will come here will be n plus 2 by 4 ki yahan pe n plus 2 by 4 numbers hain i will tell you again okay now moving forward moving forward now we have to take multiples of 3. But you will see one thing that multiples of 3 has been already taken. So 1 ka multiple 3 is already there. 3 3 9 is already there. 5 3 15 is already there. 7 3 21 we cannot take. It's more than 20. Now next comes 4. 4 we will take. Okay. For 4, 1 into 4 will be 4. Then 3 into 4 will be 12. Now 5 into 4 will be 20. After that we cannot take. 7 4 will be 28 which is more than n. Now we have a gap of you can see 8. 4 12 20. And numbers will be n plus 4 by 8 number. This is a pure thing to observe. I observed it like this. From 1 to n how many multiples of 8 are present. Formula would be like this. But here we are starting from 4. We are starting from 4 means we have not taken numbers from 1 to 3. Matlab we have not taken 3 numbers, right? Overall, how many numbers are left? n plus 4 by 8. So, that is what we are doing. Okay. So, this is how we are doing it. Now, next comes multiple of 5. 5, as you can see, is already there. Now, 6. 6 is already there. Now 7, 7 is already there. Now 8 comes. So 1 into 8 will be 8. 3 into 8 will be 24. Means 8 will come or 8 will come. None other multiple of 8 will come. 
हेयर बेसिकली गैप विल बी ऑफ सिक्सटीन अगर एक नंबर और आता तो इट मस्ट बी सिक्सटीन देखो आप अगर आता लेट से तो एट थ्री जो ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर आता बट बिकॉज एन इज ट्वेंटी ओनली वी विल नॉट है गैप यहाँ भी सिक्सटीन का होता है नंबर ऑफ टोटल नंबर विल बी एन प्लस एट बाय सिक्सटीन तो बेसिकली फॉर्मूला कम से कि हमें पहले गैप दो का मिल रहा है देन फोर देन एट देन सिक्सटीन मीन्स टू थ्री पावर का गैप मिल रहा है टू थ्री पावर वन टू थ्री पावर टू टू थ्री पावर थ्री एंड टू थ्री पावर फोर And for each gap, how many numbers we have? So first we have for gap two. When gap is two, starting from one, starting from one, when gap is two, there are n plus one by two numbers. Then starting from two, when gap is four, there are n plus two by four numbers. Okay. So what we can say? Let's say here, if our x is two, let's say here our i is one. Okay. So here our i is two. Here are i is three. Here are i is four. We'll continue. Okay. Now, let's say I'm saying that x is equal to two to the power i. So here pe x will be two. Here x will be four. Here x will be eight. And here x will be sixteen. Gap kitna hoga? So gap will be basically x by two. Here pe one. Here pe four. Uh, sorry. Gap to yehi hai. Not gap. Actually, this value, this value, which we are adding with n, so this value, how much will be? This value also and the value from where your index is starting, basically the start value. So the start value will be, let's say s will be one, which is which is x by two. Here start value is two, x by two. Here start value is four. Here start value is eight. Now for the given k, we can easily find ki wo k me kaun sa number le raha. Let's say k aapka hai. ठीक है स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम वन ओके वॉट आई विल डू इज पहले विल फाइंड की वेन आई इज वन मीन्स वेन एक्स इज टू मीन्स गैप इज टू सो हाउ मेनी नंबर आर दिया यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मला वी कैन फाइंड सो एन इज ट्वेंटी सो ट्वेंटी प्लस वन बाय टू मीन्स टेन सो यू कैन सी दैट टेन नंबर तो क्या ये के इन टेन नंबर के अंदर लाई कर रहा है इज दिस के लेस देन टेन नो मीन्स वी डोंट वॉन्ट दिस फर्स्ट टेन नंबर सो नाउ विल रिमूव इट सो विल सब्ट्रैक्ट इट फ्रॉम टेन Remaining seven means now for the remaining we want the seventh number. Ten has gone. Ten numbers are gone. Now we want the seventh number for the remaining. Next, here we are. Now here we are. How many numbers I like? Are so n plus two by four. So twenty plus two by four five means past numbers here we are. Again five minus zero two means these all are also removed. Now for the next we want the second number. Now here how many numbers are there? Here we have twenty plus four by eight means three numbers are there. And what is k? We want second number. And there are three numbers. That means k will be somewhere in between this sequence. But where? So if k one is one, if k is one, then it's obviously the start number. It's obviously the start number. But if k is not one, it's basically start number means this s plus k minus one into gap. बिकॉज ये आपका स्टार्ट नंबर है और k माइनस वन टाइम्स आई गैप जाएगा तो अगर k टू है मीन्स स्टार्ट नंबर प्लस एक बार गैप मीन्स ट्वेल्व बी और आंसर दिस इज हाउ वी आर फाइंडिंग अ वेरी यू नो लॉजिकल थिंग प्योर ऑब्जर्वेशन यू हैव टू जस्ट ऑब्जर्व द पैटर्न एंड दिस थिंग बहुत मैथ्स लगी आई आई नो ओके लेट्स डिस्कस द कोड ओके द कोड इज सिंपल वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज I am first starting from i is equal to one. As I told you, i one is start hoga. Going up to log of n, log of n tak jayega. Then we log le rahe hain. Log of n tak isliye jayega ki uske aage number hi nahi honge, right? Now x will be two to the power i. This x, x is two to the power i. Okay. Now I have not taken s. Ham s ko yahan pe x by two hi likh rahe hain. I have not taken any x. Now what will be y? Y will be number uh, numbers in that uh, particular range. So is range me kitna number hai? n plus one by two here n plus two by four n plus four by eight so it is basically n plus start number by gap so 
एन जो स्टार्ट नंबर बाय का इतने नंबर हैं अब देखो अगर वाई लेस देन इक्वल टू अगर के लेस देन इक्वल टू वाई इफ के इज लेस देन इक्वल टू वाई जस्ट लाइक यहाँ पे था कि वाई वॉज थ्री थ्री नंबर और के टू था पर अगर नहीं है इफ नॉट देन सब्ट्रैक्ट वाई फ्रॉम के कितने नंबर चले गए बच्चा हमें बच्चे नंबर में ये के नंबर चाहिए बट इफ के इज लेस देन इक्वल टू वाई तब देखते हैं अगर के वन है इफ के वन है मीन्स वी वॉन्ट द स्टार्ट नंबर ऑफ दैट पैटर्न सिंपली प्रिंट एक्स बाई टू एल्स प्रिंट एक्स बाय टू प्लस हाउ मेनी टाइम्स गैप के माइनस वन टाइम के माइनस वन आगे नंबर है ठीक है दैट इज वॉट वी आर डूइंग सो द लॉजिक ऑफ दिस वॉज लेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस प्रॉब्लम इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन ज्वाइन टेलीग्राम ओके एंड यू कैन आस्क इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग दिस एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो कमेंट योर डाउट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ओके फुल गाइज थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई होप दैट दिस वीडियो इज हेल्पफुल फॉर यू थैंक यू